Now I'm going to show you guys how to create a pie chart. It's very simple uh, in X, uh, uh, SPSS. So first I'm going to go up here to graphs. I'm going to choose chart builder. There are the other options, but we're going to use chart builder. I think it's the most intuitive. If you've done a chart previously, you're going to open up a lot of gunk, but if you hit reset, It'll set it back to its normal default settings. Uh, then you choose what kind of, uh, make sure you're on gallery here, and choose what kind of graph you want. Well, we want a pie chart. Okay, so we're going to click that, drag it up in there. Now we want to find our variable, and we're interested in school type in eighth grade. So we're going to select that and then pull it down here. All right, then click OK. All right, good. Well, we've got the graph, but it really doesn't have much information on it. We need more information. Uh, the percents, the, the um, N, et cetera. So we're going to double click, and what that's going to do is open up our pie chart, and you see here's a little uh, properties um, box over here. This button right here is our data labels, and we're going to tell it what labels. Well, it already has percent in there. But let's say we want percent and count. Okay, I'll select count, move it up. All right, and then apply that, and you'll see it changes. Now I have the N of percent. Um, let's say I also want the label inside. Well, I move that up, click apply, and decide, oh, that's ugly. I don't want that. Let me get rid of it, put it back down there. So you see how you can just kind of play and decide what you want. Let's say I wanted to try, well, I don't like it right in the middle. Maybe I want it sitting outside. So um, you see down here, if I go custom under the label position, it was automatic, which was inside. I'm going to put it, it looks like a little Pac-Man eating a little bean thing. Um, I'm going to select that one. I'm going to apply. And you'll see how now it puts the uh, percent and the N right outside the box with a little line to it. Let's say that's what I'm happy with. So I close that. All I have to do now is close, and you can see my new graph. So that's how you create a pie chart.